Here is the list of Russian military vehicles. From planes, ships, tanks, trucks, and other potentially deadly military vehicles Russia has established itself as one of the world's leading defense industries, a legacy that dates back to the Soviet Union's political rivalry with the United States during the Cold War era, which allowed the country to produce a wide range of cutting-edge military equipment and pursue rapid technological advancement to outnumber its competitors, despite the fact that many European countries also developed tough and frightening vehicles. Russia's ambition to continue developing its machines is undeniable. 1. Gaz 2975 Tiger The Gaz 2975, often known as the Tiger in English, is a Russian multifunctional all-terrain infantry mobility vehicle that was initially delivered to the Russian army in 2006. Primarily used by the military forces of the Russian Federation the Tiger was built by LLC a military industrial business, and it comes with a powerful diesel turbocharged air-cooled engine and a 5-speed manual gearbox. A 5.9-liter turbocharged Cummins air-cooled diesel engine with 180 horsepower was used to power the Tiger. The vehicle, like most powerful vehicles of its size, moves slowly, with a peak speed of just 87 miles per hour on the road and 50 miles per hour off-road. Looking at its primary armament, the GAS-2975 Tiger is equipped with a 7.62mm PKP Pekeneg machine gun. 2. Mil Mi-28 According to NATO, the Havoc Mi-28 is a Russian all-weather day and night two-seat anti-armor attack helicopter with a military tandem. It's an attack helicopter with no secondary transport capability and is better suited to the job than the Mil Mi-24 gunship. External loads are carried on pylons beneath stub wings, as well as a single cannon in an undernosed barbette. The Mil Mi-28 was built after the Mil Mi-24 was completed, and the design of Mil Mi-28 was intended for a reduced transport capability and eliminates the cabin to allow for better overall performance and higher maximum speed. It first flew in November 1982, but it wasn't officially introduced until October 2009. 3. Mikoyan MiG-35 According to a Russian military industry source, the Mikoyan MiG-35, also known as the Fulcrum F by its NATO designation. Mikoyan MiG-35 is a Russian multi-role combat aircraft designed by Mikoyan, a branch of the United Aircraft Corporation UAC. According to a Russian military industry source, Mikoyan MiG-35 are basically enhanced versions of the MiG-29KR. In 2007, the Mikoyan MiG-35 was first shown to the rest of the world at the Aero India Air Show. The first two serial manufacturers of the aircraft will not reach service until 2019, more than a decade later. However, as compared to early MiG-29 versions, the fighters, avionics and missile systems have been greatly enhanced, including new precision-guided targeting capabilities and a specially built optical locator system that frees the aircraft from ground-based interception systems and allows it to execute autonomous multi-role missions. Russian Aerospace Forces are the major users of the MiG-35. 4. Sukhoi Su-57 Sukhoi Su-57 is a single-seat twin-engine stealth multi-role fighter aircraft manufactured by the Russian aviation company Sukhoi. With its NATO name Felon, the Su-57 is the first stealth fighter in the Russian military's arsenal. Originally designed to replace the MiG-29 and Su-27 in the Russian military's aviation weapons, the Su-57 set the foundation for stealth combat aircraft that would survive in contemporary warfare. The Su-57 is known for being a formidable fighter in aerial combat, maritime, and ground warfare, due to the design's extraordinary maneuverability, stealth-integrated avionics, and significant internal cargo capacity. The first Su-57 aircraft entered service with the Russian Aerospace Forces in December 2020, and it was expected to have a service life of up to 35 years. Five. T-14 Armada, T-14 Armada, a Russian next-generation main battle tank, 
was based on the Armada Universal Combat Platform, that was the first series produced next generation tank. T-14 Armada was first publicly displayed during rehearsals for the 2015 Moscow Victory Day Parade, but one of the tanks suddenly stopped moving during the rehearsals. It moved away within its own power after roughly 15 minutes. The Armada was reportedly built over a five-year period and incorporates various innovative elements such as an unmanned turret, three crew members positioned in the front of the hull, and armored capsules. It is powered by a CHTZ 12M360 diesel engine that produces up to 1,500 horsepower and has a maximum power of 2,000 horsepower that is not routinely used. The Armada's engine is electronically regulated and has a range of up to 500 kilometers. 6. T-90 In 1993, it joined the military. The T-90 is a third-generation Russian main battle tank that is a modern variant of the T-72B and has many of the same features as the T-80U. It was originally known as the T-72BU but was later renamed the T-90. It has a 125mm 2A46 smoothbore main gun, the 1A45 T fire control system, an upgraded engine, and a thermal sight for the gunner. It also contains a combination of composite armor and steel, smoke grenade dischargers, a Satora infrared ATGM jamming system, and contact 5 explosive reactive armor protection. Ural Vagonzavod, the Russian machine construction company created and constructed the T-90 tank in Disney Tajil, Russia. During the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, it was reported that Azerbaijan utilized T-90s tanks although one was destroyed and seized by Armenian troops. Till date, it is an advanced tank in service with Russian land forces and naval infantry. 7. Slava-class cruiser, the Soviets designed and developed it. The Slava-class cruiser was commissioned in 1983 after being launched in 1979. The concept, based on the P-500 assault missile, began in the 1960s as a less expensive conventionally powered alternative to the nuclear-powered Kirov-class battle cruisers. The Slava class is a guided missile cruiser that is heavily armed and equipped with anti-ship missiles, anti-submarine torpedoes, and signal jammers, making it an incredible and ideal attack vehicle. The armaments of the Slava class cruiser include 16 P-1000 Vulcan SS and 12 sandbox anti-ship missiles and 64 S-300 F-4 long-range surface-to-air missiles, one twin AK-130 130mm L-70 dual-purpose gun and 24 RBU-6000 anti-submarine mortars. It is also driven by gas turbines, steam turbines, and two exhaust gas boilers which combined produces 130,000 shaft horsepower when combined. Eight, Akula-class submarines, the Akula-class submarines, officially known as Project 971 Shakshuka B by Soviet designation and referred to as Akula by NATO, are a series of nuclear-powered attack submarines that were originally deployed by the Soviet Navy in 1986. Regardless of modifications, the submarine Shakshuka B Akula is armed with four 533mm torpedo tubes that can fire Type 53 torpedoes or RPK-2 or RPK-6 missiles and four 650mm torpedo tubes that can use the Type 65 torpedoes or the RPK missiles. Not only that, but the submarine has a twin hole system with an inner pressure hole and an outward light hole which allows for more flexibility in the design of the hull's external shape, resulting in a submarine with higher reserve buoyancy. The updated variants, such as the VERPR, are expected to be fitted with caliber cruise missiles. 9. Burai-class submarines The Burai-class submarines, often known as the Dolgoruki by NATO, are a series of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines built for the Russian Navy by Samish. As compared to the Typhoon-class submarines, Burai-class are notable for being substantially smaller in terms of capacity and crew. The design work on the Burai-class project began in the mid-1980s, and the first vessel was built in 1996. Yuri Dolgoruki, the first submarine of the class, 
was set to launch in 2002. However, due to funding concerns, it was postponed. The submarine was revealed to the public on 15th of April 2007 in a ceremony attended by much industrial personnel and senior military officers. The Barai class submarines are approximately 170 meters long, 13 meters in diameter, and have a top speed of at least 46 kilometers per hour. In addition, the Barai class was reported to be capable of carrying 12 missiles. 10. Yasin M, Russian designation Project 885 Yasin, also known by their NATO reporting name Severosfin. The Yasin class is a class of nuclear powered cruise missile submarines designed by the Malakit Marine Engine Bureau and built by Samish for the Russian Navy. The Yasin class is based on the Akula and Alpha classes and is expected to replace the current Soviet era nuclear attack submarines. The project began on December 21, 1993, and was scheduled to be completed in 1998. According to certain accounts, the Yasin design is cutting edge in terms of weapons. For the armament the Yasin are presumed to be armed with land attack cruise missiles, anti-ship missiles, and anti-submarine missiles. Yasin class are apparently becoming the first to be equipped with a fourth generation nuclear reactor. The reactor which was developed by African Tav OKBM, is expected to have a core life of 25 to 30 years and will not require refueling. Thanks for watching till the end. If you like the video smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.